Hi! In our last video, we saw how to find the operating point of a pump in a given system. It's the point at which the pump and system curves cross, there will be a flow and a manometric head. First, we found this point graphically. But we've also seen that it's easy to find an equation for the system and if we're able to fit an equation for the pump, we can put together pump and system equations, find a second degree equation that we can solve and thus find the crossing points. The positive value will be the flow of the operating point. The head can be found by substituting Q in the form of formulas obtained for the pump and for the system. If we mark the operating point in the pump chart, we'll find the corresponding values for the BHP and the required NPSH. But we promise to talk about the least squares method. It's a very simple way of fitting a curve to a set of points which, in our case, is the H versus Q curve of the pump. Let's assume we're given the following pair of values, to which we want to fit a function y equals f of x. We want to do this under the condition that the sum of the differences yi minus f of xi to the square should be as small as possible. This means that the derivative of this summation must be equal to zero. OK, let's bring it to the top of the page. We must choose the kind of function that we'll try to fit. It can be a polynomial, exponential, logarithmic. In our case, we usually fit a second degree polynomial curve. You can see in this figure what we want to do. The second degree polynomial curve will pass between the pair of values as closely as possible. OK, this is the function that we want to fit. We must find the values of a, b and c. So this is what we want. This summation must be at a minimum which means that each one of these derivatives must be equal to zero. When we differentiate them, we find this, that we can rewrite in this form. Let's bring those expressions here. Notice that we have three linear equations on the variables a, b and c. There are many ways of solving linear systems. The one we're going to use here is known as the Kramer's rule. We solve the problem of finding the determinants delta, delta A, delta B, and delta C. This is the determinant delta, whose value we find by multiplying the values of this diagonal plus the product of these values plus the product of these values minus the product of the values of this diagonal plus the product of these values and plus the product of these values. Now we can do the same to the determinants delta A, delta B and delta C. The values of A B and C are found through these ratios. OK, now we're able to fit a second degree polynomial function to the pump curve corresponding to the 350 mm impeller diameter. Here are some Q and H values extracted from the pump chart and we put them in this table. The Q values are in liters per second. We also calculate the values of the other columns. It's easy to do it. You can do it in a spreadsheet software, such as Microsoft Excel. Now we, or should I say Microsoft Excel, can calculate the corresponding values of delta, delta A, delta B, and delta C. 
With these values, we find A, B, and C. Here is the expression that we were looking for. As we saw, we solve it together with the system equation and find the value of Q, which allows us to find the value of H. Here is the operating point in the pump chart. We can do the same for the BHP and the NPSH curve. And we will. But in the next video. That's enough for today. Oh, and if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like, comment, share and subscribe. Hit the bell so you can be notified of my next videos.